originally came into this profession or is to try and see things clearly, go beyond what is often subjectivity that is cast upon us. Once. And my responsibility is to somehow all those sensory things that I described about being in the field um, and being there is to somehow help the person sitting at home understand that, um, you know, what it means, what conflict really means. But I think I've become much, in fact, I have become much more cynical throughout the years. The UN Refugee Agency, UNHCR, when Syrian and Russian forces launched militants vying for power. All of this, what, what do you expect me to do? Fix it? I just want to be a doctor or anything to help my people, but I can't. That cynicism hits in the face of war is... it'll never end. Never. strikes the you know they were constant and there was a fear a constant fear of being hit by the airstrikes scared to go to sleep at night because of that will we get hit tonight hit close by and we heard it and the whole building had been shaken by the strike. We went out to the street and there was blood and dead bodies in the street and somebody came and identified his relative. And he was so engulfed in grief that he started banging his head on an electric pole. And that was it was terrifying, it was shocking, everything was just so surreal and so frightening. Bombings and death and homelessness and people that are running for their life. Why are we here? What are we doing? I mean, really, it hit me right then, like, why sometimes it really does hit you, like, why am I doing this job? I think about quitting my job? Yes, indeed, I do. <laughs> because it's uh, overwhelming and it's a lot and it's and I'm not 20 years old anymore. The potential of what could happen and what well, you know, leaving people behind who would be grieving. How much people can lose and be devastated and yet still be driven to help other people. And perhaps sometimes that gets them through their own devastation. People who have lost children, who are helping other people cope, who have lost their children. People who have very little in terms of wherewithal financially, but open their homes and their tables. I would say it's the selflessness countering that and that is something that over and over again that is what inspires me it's a transcend transcendental and i guess it's just now it becomes a situation sometimes of it's what i do it's what i'm used to doing and um and that's it
but that's why I continue to do it. There's a belief that you have a, a finite number of times you can keep doing this before your luck runs out, and I'm aware of that. And think about that. But um, for now, yeah. It's still working for now.